Hello everyone, it's Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be planning out the week of Monday, December 13th through December 19th. This is an Erin Condren hourly planner. I do have the neutral, just my type version. I do have this linked down below in the description box if you are interested in purchasing one. The kit that we're going to use this week is from Black Dog Sticker Co. I absolutely love this kit. As soon as I saw um, like a sneak of this kit on Instagram, I was like, I am totally buying that one. It reminds me of, um, I don't, if you guys are familiar with a Rifle Paper Co., um, I love their fabric, and they make a lot of other things other than fabric. I actually think I saw that they made a pair of rubber boots in their designs this year, which is actually pretty cool. But regardless, this is the kit we're using. It is kit 67. I have the sampler, the full boxes, the washi, the thick washi, thin washi, and then I have date headers, and then I have boxes, and then the deco boxes as well. So I will have, I think I have Michelle's shop linked down below as well, but if I don't, I will try and remember to check and, and look for it. And then if it's not there, I will try and add it. All right, I'm trying to figure out, of course there is a stupid gnat in here, and I just bought this fancy, the gnats are coming from um, Michaela's plants. I figured that out. So we bought some neem oil. This is a little side note here, because I think I talked about the gnats not too long ago. So um, let's use this one. So I bought some neem oil, which is supposed to be good for getting rid of gnats in your plants. Oh my gosh, it's going to be that kind of video. Stick that over there. And now I guess we will use this one. So let's see here. There we go. No, still, I'm not grabbing it right. There we go. Anyways, we got some neem oil. Sprayed the plants. We've done it several times. And then I bought this... Um, I don't remember what it's called, like catchy or something like that. Um, it's basically like a little, well, it's a little machine that catches gnats. <laughs> and it has a little sticky pad in it. And then it has like a UV light or something like that because I guess they're attracted to UV lights. So that has been working. We haven't had hardly any. But this morning, Michaela said she had a gnat in her tea. And I have a gnat right here in my studio, which is extremely frustrating. So she will have to spray all of her plants down again. And yeah, so there's a little bit of a side note for you. That's one of my annoying struggles that I'm dealing with. All right, so I'm putting down the washi to cover the date cover, or to cover this section right here. This is a little Cricut like slicer tool. You do have to be careful that you don't push too hard and cut through your paper because I've done that a bazillion times. All right, now we're going to put down the date covers. So this isn't a super, super busy week. Um, I have a lot of stuff to do. So I guess, let me rephrase that. This is not a week that I have to leave the house a whole bunch of times, but I do have a ton of stuff to get done. I'm just about finished with all of my sewing orders, which is good. So now I have to, I probably have time for maybe one or two sewing orders. Um, we'll have to see, but I also have to do my own Christmas sewing. So I'm going to be working on that. All right, so there is the date covers. The next thing I'm going to do is, I think we'll use this one right here. I don't know why I'm having a hard time grabbing these today. I think my nails are just so thin. All right, I'm going to put this right here. So I really like to mark this spot off um, for my Instagram tracking. Let me show you what last week looked like. I really loved this spread from Alexander Nicole Plans. Like, this is my favorite sidebar ever, I think. And I had to mark it a little bit differently um, last week. But this is what I use to track my Instagram posts for the week. And I like to do that a lot. So, we're going to mark that off. 
So how's your Christmas shopping going? I don't think that mine is any different than the last time I asked you guys. Um, I'm usually like way further ahead by now, but I don't know what my problem is. Like I love Christmas. It is like my favorite time of year, but I'm really having a hard time finding my Christmas spirit in full transparency. I don't know why. I don't know. This is going to be my first Christmas um, ever without all my kids. And maybe that's why it's really getting to me a little bit. So Devin is still in Alaska. Um, we did uh, talk to him about coming home for Christmas, which actually, I guess, technically this isn't home for him. He's never been here. <laughs> so it kind of makes things a little different. But anyways, we did talk to him about coming to visit, but and I've probably told you guys this before. He doesn't have um, very much PTO because he started a new job and he is going to be house sitting for somebody. So it's just not going to work out for him to come home for Christmas this year. So like next week, it will have been a year since I saw Devin. So that is kind of probably making me a little depressed. And then... Katie, who I told you guys that she started a new job at the NICU, and she did, but she actually hated it. It's not the, the NICU portion of it that she hated. She just didn't like that. Um, she just didn't like the way that the floor ran. Like everybody was in their own little cubicle, like in between the rooms. Nobody really talked to each other. Nobody helped each other. So before she got too far into it. She actually um, turned in her 30-day notice and they, uh, they said, you're still, you know, in the orientation portion of the job, so no need to give us 30 days notice. So she went back to the ER that she was working at um, and she's very glad about that. She was also going to have to work nights in the NICU um, and she doesn't have to do that now since she's going to well, she's going to mostly slide right back into her job um, and starting in January. So right now she's just doing a bunch of PRN shifts. So it's working out just fine for her. So that all that to say that she, and I think she is going to start training in the ICU too. So all that to say that she has to work on Christmas. So she will be here. I don't think she has to work a full day on Christmas, but... Um, she won't be here until, I zoomed you guys in too far. There we go. She won't be here until like, I don't know, probably 7 o'clock that night. So anyways, let's work on sidebar now. It's just a, oh, and Benjamin, he will not be home from work until like the 27th, I think. So all that to say, it's just, it's a different kind of kind of year and it's just I really really want to do this again so let's think about that let's go ahead I pulled a bunch of stickers so let's go ahead and see if I can make this work so these are the social media platforms I just have the half sheet and the neutral from Alexander Nicole plans I do have her shop linked in the description box down below um, you can also mention my name for a freebie and you can use Angela 20 to save 20% off your order in the notes to seller section. So there's one for YouTube, there's one for Instagram. And then these are the habit trackers and these are blank. So I'm going to use one for no spend, one for tidy, and one for vitamins. Now, the interesting thing about this is last week it took up the whole thing, and then this week probably these are not the same size. That's probably what it will. Actually, they are. Oh, these were a little bit bigger than these. That's what it was, but it's fine. I can cover this spot up with a little bit of washi if I wanted to. No worries there. So anyways, all of that to say, my Christmas spirit is having a very difficult time finding me, but it'll be all right. Sometimes 
we go through difficult seasons in life and I just kind of feel like not that I'm in a difficult season of life right now but it's just a little bit it's different that's, that's it's just different so right now I am marking off my um, dinner time spot I want to look briefly at my dinners from last week so we don't eat dinner at four o'clock I say this most weeks because I'm afraid of second dinner, to be honest with you. I don't want to have to feed everybody second dinner, and my pen just rolled off my table. So, we had one night of yo-yo, and we did have frozen pizzas, which was easy, but every dinner that was on here, I actually cooked this last week, which is no small feat, if I must say so. All right, so now we're going to... If I can find where I put them. I felt like I was so organized this time. Like I pulled some stickers that I wanted to use. I even pulled some and put them in my little reusable sticker book right here. And now I'm like, well, I thought I pulled all these stickers out, but I cannot find them. Like where the heck did I put my silverware stickers? I knew I was going to need them. There they are. We'll just use those. These are from Fern Creek, and these are just a little sampler. So we'll add these here. I cannot say for sure if I will cook all of my meal plans for this week, although I did share my meal plan over on Instagram. Um, so if you want to go take a look at that, you can do that. I used the Erin Condren meal planning book. All right, so there is that. That's finished. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So now it would be time to get into it. So I do my pre-planning on this um, Russell and Hazel week pad. You can get it on Amazon. I might even have it linked down below. If I don't and you want it, just um, let me know because I can grab that for you easily. So Liberty has a Parley Pro competition tomorrow. Um, if you guys don't know what Parley Pro is, it's like, um, just think like Robert's Rules. It's basically a big business meeting that they do through FFA. So she is doing that. She's actually, maybe they call it like the, the president or whatever for, for Parley Pro because um, she's got so much Parley Pro experience from when she was in Alaska. So she's going to be doing that. Um, this is for... The orthodontist. Now Benjamin just went to the orthodontist. So last week actually on the sixth, um, but he has had two of his well one bracket broke and then the other one um, like a little spring came off. Which I thought I had the spring right here, but now I don't see it. And he's gonna be mad because he told me not to lose it. <laughs> oh well. So anyways. I need to call tomorrow because you'll see as I'm doing this, um, he goes back to work Tuesday and the orthodontist is only there Mondays and Tuesdays, which is ridiculous, but he's an older gentleman and I guess he's probably trying to retire. And then this is some blood work that Ben needs to do. He did this blood work like two months ago for the dermatologist and apparently the place he went to have his blood work done did not do everything that they were supposed to do. So there's that. <laughs> um, then I'm going to use this from Alexander Nicole Plans. This is um, the neutral plain boxes and this is the half sheet. I really like that you can buy half sheets because I mean most people probably don't need a full box of this but you know maybe you want a few. So I have to bring him to the airport on Tuesday Wednesday, Liberty has, okay, I'm not going to use that one. Let's see. So Liberty will have youth group. I thought I had some youth group stickers, but I don't know what I did with them. I need to figure that out. And then I think I am going to go with a friend to um, something called restorative yoga. I've never done it before. I've actually never done yoga. So if you guys have ever done something called restorative yoga, let me know because I'm a little scared. She told me it's like taking a nap, but I'm having a really hard time believing that. <laughs> All right. And then we are on to Thursday. 
I'm going to add these full boxes in a few minutes. So let's just set those right there. What is that? Thursday is trash day. So we'll do this one. I really like this font. All right, there's trash day. And then it is also payday, which is lovely. I thought there was a dollar sign icon, but there isn't. But it's okay, because I have a little different icon I'm going to use. I have this little doodle girl right here, and she is from Simply Smith Stickers, so she is adorable. Put this right here. And then, all right, so Thursday is going to be my busiest day of the week. Let me think about how I want to mark this here. So we will probably have to eat out on Thursday, so I'm going to have to make sure that I don't spend my fun money because we will need it for that. Anyways, Katie is having her pinning ceremony from, I think she went to IU. I don't know why I can't ever remember this. There's like IU, like IU, IPU, or I don't know. Anyway, she went to Indiana University in Kokomo for her BSN, so she is graduating with her bachelor's in nursing, which is super exciting because she just started this this year, and she did like a condensed, like rapid version, essentially, like where they basically busted their tail to get it done, and she's finished. So she is going to be graduating with that. That is at 6 p.m. Now, it is about a two-hour drive, a little less than two hours, to Kokomo from where we live and but we have an hour time difference too so we'll probably have to leave about 2 30 and we probably won't get home until like 10 or 11 so that is going to be a very busy day as far as and Liberty will probably have to leave school early it's not necessarily a busy day but it makes for a long night but I am super proud of her and super excited all right I don't have anything to do on Friday Saturday we have the housekeeper coming. She's doing like a maintenance clean. So I'm excited about that. Although she probably can come do a deep clean again, if I'm honest with you. With three dogs and all the mud and all, all that stuff that we've had. Yeah. It's not pretty. But it's okay. And then we have church on Sunday. So we'll do that, and then I'll use this little church right here. All right, so that is pretty much it for what we have going on this week. Like I said, not a lot of stuff that I have to actually leave the house for, but it's going to, I have a lot of stuff to get done at home. So let's go ahead and add in full boxes because I have the room, so why not? All right, there are the full boxes added. I really, really like the way this is coming together. Um, I'm going to plan for Wednesday to be a sewing day. So I think I'm going to actually, you know what, let's do this. Let's use some washi. Let's try this and see how this looks. So Wednesday will be a sewing day. I also just remembered that it is late start for Liberty. So where do I want to put that? 
Well, I guess we can stick it. All right, I'm gonna have to move her down. So we'll do the late arrival here. Maybe I didn't have enough coffee today. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, last week. So I think it was, it was Friday. Yeah. So I got a phone call and a text and an email. <laughs> talk about overkill from the school um, because they were on a two hour delay at like 530 in the morning or something like that. And then a little bit later, I got another, you know, trifecta that the, the delay was due to fog and I got the other trifecta and they were canceling school for the day, but it was e-learning. So she had to do all of her zoom meetings and whatnot. And I was like, okay, so our snow day is completely gone. Like since, you know, all the schools had to figure out how to do all of the e-learning and whatnot due to COVID, our snow day is gone. I don't know. I was kind of disappointed about that for her. All right. On Thursday, I'm expecting some sticker mail. And then that will be from Alexander Nicole Plans. So that's not going to fit there. I'm hoping it comes Thursday. I've tried to update or check the tracking and it hasn't updated, but I'm not worried about it because I think that happened last time too. Last time I got a package from her, um, I'm not sure if I like that or not. I probably need to move this down. And then, let's see if I can move this down. This is gonna be, well actually, we'll see if it still sticks. That'll be the true test. All right, I think it's gonna be fine. Anyways, I think my last package, the tracking didn't update as quickly as it usually does. And then all of a sudden there it was one day. So I am expecting it to come then. Okay, Friday I'm going to do holiday shopping because I am horribly behind. And I have some gift cards that I have to get and then a couple things that I have to mail. So... I really need to get them so that I can get them in the post, get them, you know, um, mailed, which I'll probably try to go to the post office Saturday morning. So let's go ahead and put this one here for post office. And then I need to go to the post office again, actually Monday, today is Sunday, but I need to go Monday. So. We can just put that down here. Doesn't really matter when I go, as long as I go. All right, let me just briefly look at this and see if there's anything else that I need to worry about. I need to go to the ATM Friday morning to get my cash for my cash envelopes either Thursday night or Friday morning, but I'll just put that right there. And then Michaela just watered all the plants today, but Katie got some kind of app. Um, I don't know what exactly what it is, but it, it's supposed to tell you, like you take a picture of your plant and then it tells you like what you have to do to take care of it and all that stuff. And it said we should be watering our spider plants three times a week. And we were probably barely even watering them once a week. So need to do that and then I'm going to attempt for a movie night on Saturday. I don't have good luck with this because my kids are teenagers or adults and they have their own things to do but I really wanted to watch some Christmas movies. I have this sheet of stickers from Simply Smith Stickers that has a bunch of Christmas movies on it and even though yesterday I did watch this one so I guess I could mark that off. Um, I watched this with Lucas because it was on TV. So anyways, I want to do that. <laughs> we have not gotten anything done and we haven't even baked any cookies, which maybe we can do this on Sunday. We'll put that right there. Um, we need to, I did come up with my list of what I want to bake, but like, let's see here. 
next week, the following week, is Christmas. So if I'm going to do any Christmas tray cookies or anything like that, we need to get on. This is what I have left for stickers. So not too bad, but I do have quite a few left. But I'm just going to put them back here so that if anything else comes up, um, you know, if I forget something or if we have an appointment added later in the week or whatever, I still have room to add things like that. So I will leave that right there. I do thank each and every one of you who spent some time watching my video today. If you are new here, please do hit that red subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around. If at any point during this video you liked what you saw, make sure you please give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know how your Christmas shopping is going. Let me know if you have Christmas spirit this year or if you're still looking for it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.